Well, it's never a good idea to look at the sun, which can make observing an eclipse a difficult task, but there is a safe way to do it. Students at the King's Oak Academy this morning made pinhole projectors to watch as the moon made its way across the sun. Rachel was there. Amongst thousands of us who paused this morning to view the partial solar eclipse, here at Kingswood Oak Academy in Kingswood, the pupils gathered outside with their pinhole projectors to see the moon pass directly in front of the sun. At approximately 20 past 8 this morning, the first phase had begun in our city. And by half past nine, we could see 98% of the moon partly covering the sun and shortly ending just after half past ten. Well, the eclipse is when the moon moves between us and the sun. So it gets in the way and it casts a shadow on the earth and we see the light become dimmer and it gets colder and it's really exciting. Well, I have a professional quality telescope with most important a professional quality solar filter on the front. That is really, really important for anyone thinking of looking through a telescope at the sun. You mustn't do it without a proper filter on. Well, it was fantastic uh, from the point of view of being an amateur astronomer, but also seeing the excitement in all of the children uh, viewing something that doesn't happen very often. And of course, looking at the sun directly, either with the naked eye or through a camera, can cause permanent damage to your eyesight. So, to make the most of viewing the eclipse, pinhole projectors were created for a fun and safe viewing. Uh, yeah, so the boxes are pinhole cameras. Uh, how they work, you've got a black piece of paper at the front, you put a tiny pinhole in it, that side, and on the back we've just got like a really sort of um, translucent piece of paper. So the tiny pinhole will let the light in the front of it and it will project a little image of the clips here so you can just look at it through that way and you can see a picture of it on the back. Um, the larger ones, you can see scattered around at the back, they were just working, they've got a pinhole in the front of it, but the kids were putting them over their heads and they can see the image is projected on the back of the cardboard so you don't, you don't look at the back of it that way. In the last 500 years, there have only been eight total solar eclipses that could be seen from the UK and for many of us, we'll remember the last one back in 1999. But for the students here at King's Oak Academy, what did they think of their first experience? Um, you hold it up to your head and then if you point the silver part towards the sun, you can see the eclipse. And what did you think of the eclipse? It was really cool. Oh, I thought it was amazing because this is my first time seeing it. I saw a little moon, like, from where the solar eclipse is, I think, around the sun. Because it's, like, a rare option. You don't get to do it, like, every day. I think it was quite cool because it was the first time I've ever watched. So um, it was quite nice to see what everyone was talking about. But for now, scientists say another partial eclipse like this one today that will be visible in the UK will not occur until 2026. And the next total eclipse will not be for another 75 years. I'm Rachel in Kingswood for Made in Bristol TV.